Hey everybody, good morning. How are you? Um, Jen Morris coming to you here live um, from Goderich, Ontario, Canada. Sorry, I forgot my other tripod at the gym, so I have this like little tripod, so it's shorter than my other one, so I apologize. I'll just let um, everybody tune in. It's crazy, I've got quite a few messages this morning. Hey, when is stretching start? So that's awesome. I'm glad you guys are excited to stretch, which is cool. Um, so uh, before we begin today, guys, I'm gonna kind of go through why it's important to take some time to um, do this for yourself and not always do crazy intense exercise all the time. Um, you know, I'm not saying don't exercise every day. I think it's important that we do exercise every single day, but um, especially in times of stress, which is like these days, it's important to kind of take things down a notch every once in a while and let your body calm down, let your nervous system calm down, let yourself slow down and just kind of breathe and be in the moment and um, allow everything to just like let go. So um, we do, um, you know, Monday through Friday, I'm leading you guys through some relatively intense workouts, especially if you haven't been training much. And then Saturdays, I'm giving you kind of a self-guided one. Yesterday was a little bit of um, like a recovery workout. It wasn't too intense. Um, so what I encourage you to do today is follow along with the stretching and then go for a slow walk, like a long, slow walk. Our bodies, our human bodies were designed to walk for very long distances. Um, I read an interesting statistic somewhere that we are actually meant to be like, um, as humans, as nomads, we were actually meant to be w walking like something like over 20K a day. Now I'm not saying go out and just start walking 20K a day. If you've never done that, it's gonna mess you up. But you know, slowly building to walking for a couple of hours every single day is not a bad idea. That is what the human body was designed for. Okay, so guys, with that being said, um, I know we've got some people waiting to get going here. So I'm gonna probably have to play around a little bit <clears throat> with my um, tripod today because like I said, I forgot my uh, tall one. So the angle is gonna be a little weird. I'm gonna change the angle right now. And um, let's see if we can get this pointing up a little bit. That's not bad. All right, so we're gonna start by standing up. Hopefully you guys can see me, my head's a little chopped off. There we go, I'll just stand back here. Um, all right, so we're gonna start with just taking some deep breaths in, just standing in what we call mountain pose. So I'm combining a little bit of yoga here with my stretching. I'm not a certified yoga instructor, but um, I do my best. So breathe in through the, let's close our eyes and just stand with our feet under our hips, just feel the ground, hands are by your side. Take some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And out, good. Let's take a deep breath in. This time we're gonna lift our arms up overhead, breathe in. Hold at the top and then breathe out. Arms come down. Breathe in and hold and out. Arms are moving here. In, all the way up. Reach up. Let's come up onto tippy toes. Reach to the ceiling. You can walk around on your tippy toes a little bit and then let it go. All right, starting with some head circles. Take your head in any direction, all the way around, nice and slow. Three times in each direction. Switch if you haven't. Good stuff, all right. So you're going to pretend you're pushing down into the floor with your hands. So it should drop your shoulder blades and you're gonna tilt your head to one side. This is gonna give you a nice stretch through your trapezius, your upper traps, big, big muscle. And if you 
sit on your phone a lot or are stressed, you're gonna feel it there. Good, coming out of that stretch, push down with your hands and push your head to the other side. Feeling that nice stretch along the side of your neck and your traps. Good. So I'll just turn to the side here for this next one so you can see. I'm going to gently, I'm going to interlace my fingers behind my back. I'm going to gently push behind my head and I'm going to bring my chin towards my chest. You should feel a stretch down through your back and the back of your neck. Just gently putting pressure on the back of your head. It should not hurt. Good, just gently coming out of that. All right, so shrugging your shoulders up and rolling them down your back. Shrugging and rolling. Shrug and roll. Shrug and roll. A few more. Big shoulder circles. Awesome. Good. Take your right arm, cross it in front of your body, grab behind your tricep with your left hand and pull that arm close to your chest. Feeling a nice stretch through the back of that arm. Good, switch sides. Awesome. Let's stretch out our triceps. So bring both hands up overhead. Let your right uh, forearm drop towards the middle of your back and then grab a top of that right elbow and pull down. So you should feel a stretch through the back of that right tricep. Good, bring both hands up again. Other arm, left tricep. Nice job. Okay, so bringing your feet just a little bit wider than your hips now, not too wide. We're gonna reach up with one arm and then take that left, let's say right arm is up, left hand is gonna be on that left thigh we're going to reach up out of the rib cage and slide that left arm down, getting a nice stretch through the side, this right side. Only go as far as you, you can to feel that stretch. Don't forget to breathe. Good. And switch sides, reaching up. Reach up out of the rib cage. Don't forget to breathe. Sliding that right arm down. Good work. All right, so hands are gonna be on the hips. Let's make some big hip circles here. Just loosening up those hips while we're standing. Tracing a big circle with your pelvis. Let's go the other way. Nice, all right. We're gonna do our first downward dog of the day. So downward dog, guys, you're gonna walk your hands out in front of you. Palms are flat on the ground. You're trying to get your heels flat on the ground here as well, if you can. If you can't, don't worry. Okay, you can bend your knees, doesn't matter. Try to press those heels down towards the ground. Think about lengthening the back of your body here. So pulling your heels down as you push your tailbone up. Think about pushing your chest towards the ground. Awesome, let's slide into a plank position and come all the way down to the ground and then yourself up into that high cobra. If this is too much on the back, only just go as high as you can, okay? If you're in that high cobra position, try to push your hips towards the floor. You can squeeze your butt or not, doesn't really matter. Good stuff, let's tuck those toes, send the hips back into one more downward dog here. 
while we're here in downward dog, let's stretch our calves. So let's put all the weight on the left foot. So bending that right knee, take the weight off the right foot, and then put all the weight on your right foot. While you guys carry on with that, I'm just gonna move my carpet because I'm slipping on it for downward dog here. So keep pedaling out those heels. So we're stretching out our calves here, slowly but surely, just one by one. Keep pedaling the heels. Good, let's put all that weight now on that right foot. Really push the chest down towards the ground and then lift that left leg up as high as you can and open your left hip to the ceiling. Okay, so you can look under your left armpit here. You should actually feel a stretch through the left side of your body. This is one of my favorite stretches for my hip. You can straighten that leg and then we're gonna take that left leg and we're going to come all the way up into a lunge okay so your right knee is back your left leg is forward and we are lunging and what i want you guys to think about in lunge position here is that that back leg that um right leg the glute should be kind of squeezing a little bit so see if you can contract that glute you'll feel how the stretch changes when you do that I'm getting warm. I've got my heat lamp on that you guys can't see in front of me. There we go. I got my Prove It Drink Your Ketones bra on today. So I should say I should have sponsors for these things. So this, this uh, stretch session is brought to you by Ketones today and every day. <laughs> Let's reach up with that right arm and bring it over the left leg for a nice twist. Good stuff. All right, take both hands, put them on the inside of that left leg. In this position here, guys, you can let that knee float to the side. If you come up on the edge of that left foot, that's fine, okay? And here, this might be enough for you, and you might be feeling a deep stretch already through your groin and your hip. If you want it to be a deeper stretch, you can come down to your elbows. Make sure that that front knee is pressing out to the side. It should not be collapsing in towards you, okay? What we're doing here is we're prepping our body for a very deep glute stretch known as pigeon. My hips are super tight from a very long walk um, and hike we did yesterday. So if you've been walking more, you might realize that, especially if you're going up and down big hills like I was. So this stretch right now feels really good. Don't be afraid to move around a little bit here. Just work through those sticky corners of your hip. All right, let's get into that pigeon stretch now. So this left leg is folding in front of me. Guys, try to keep that shin perpendicular to your body. Okay, that right leg is sticking out behind you. Right now I'm up in what's called high pigeon. So, um, you know, or king pigeon, some people call it. So my chest is up. This might be enough of a stretch. You might be feeling this enough in your glutes. If you are, you can stay right here. If you want, if you're a little more flexible or your glutes aren't as tight as mine are, you can come down a little lower. And if you're super flexible, you can get onto your stomach. I'm gonna stay right here on my elbows. This is where it's enough for me. And I'm gonna to count to 30. We're gonna spend 30 seconds here. And I want you guys to think about where you're feeling that in your glutes and just try to relax, try to relax that muscle. So I'm counting to 30 in my head, I'll be quiet. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Halfway. Good. 
Good stuff. Let's just come up out of that if you're on your elbows, onto your, el onto your hands and knees now. And we'll do some cat cows in this position, guys. So hands are under the shoulders, uh, knees are under the hips. Big breath in, rounding the back, really push up through those shoulders. Use your muscles here to kind of get more of a stretch through your back. And then drop your stomach, breathe in. Breathe out into cat, arching or rounding, sorry. And then out. Just go at your own pace here. I'm just going slow. My back is really stiff. Keep going, rounding and arching. My shoulders, I'm feeling really sore, so I might do some extra shoulder stretches with you guys, if that's okay. Everything is really sore today. I've worked out a lot this week. Keep breathing, keep going through this. So good for the back and the hips. All right, so we're gonna go into another downward dog. So I'm coming over to where my car, where there's no carpet so I don't fall over. Let's just get into that down dog. Let's do another flow here. So coming into that plank position, all the way down and up into that cobra. Feels so good through the front of the body to stretch those abs out. Let's tuck those toes, send the hips back. Stretch out those calves one more time. So pedal your heels out. And then let's get all the weight this time on the left foot so your right leg is going up and you're opening that right hip to the ceiling. You can look under your right armpit. Breathe. Feel the stretch to the front of your right side and then bring that right leg forward so you're in a lunge position on the right leg forward, left leg back. Holding this stretch and remember what I said when you're doing this lunge stretch guys, try to contract that glute of the leg that's behind you. So in my case it's the left glute that I'm trying to contract to get that stretch through the hips. Let's spend some time here. Most people have super tight hips and they affect everything. The psoas muscle, you guys may not realize this, runs from basically the top of your quad all the way up and into your lower back, into L4, L5, the discs there, um, or the vertebrae there. And um, a lot of people will have complaint of a sore lower back when in fact it's their hips that are just tight. So if you ever feel sore lower back, stretch your hips out and see what happens. Good stuff. Okay, we're gonna do that twisting movement now. So we're gonna reach up with the left hand and over the right leg for a twist. Good, coming out of that. So both hands are gonna come down on the inside of that right leg. You're gonna push your right knee out to the side. So here you can come up onto the outside of that right foot, that's okay. Just don't let that knee collapse in, okay? It should be going out. I'm trying to open the hips, not close them. Good stuff. Now, if this is, you're not getting much of a stretch here and you have the ability, you can come down to your elbows. If not, just stay up onto your hands and move around here, just working through those sticky corners of that hip. Awesome. I'm going to take that right leg and we're going to fold it under us for our pigeon stretch on the right side. So get yourself into that position. Remember, try to keep your shin perpendicular to your body. Your, your foot should not be tucked under you, okay? Your foot should not be back where that left leg is. It should be up. So it should be perpendicular to your body. So here I'm feeling a stretch through my right glute. And like I said, if you want to come down to your elbows, you can. We'll spend a good 30 seconds here. Just try to breathe and relax. 
Try to let go of that tightness where you feel it in your glutes. I'm counting to 30 here, so breathe. Good job. Just keep breathing. Your job is to breathe and relax. Can you believe this is the third Sunday now we're doing this together? Craziness. I'm just so grateful that all of you are here doing this with me. I would appreciate it if you want to share this. It's free. My goal is just to reach as many people as possible and help them feel better in one way or another. So when we're done this, if you can share this video or if you're just tuning in, you can share it as well. Click the little share button and away you go. Awesome. All right, so let's come back up onto hands and knees. We're gonna do something called the bird dog here. So in this position, we're hands and knees um, everything is neutral here. Spine is neutral. We're not arched or rounded or um, dropping the hips or anything. And we're just going to pretend that we're like reaching away from us with something that's like way out in front. For me, it's by that window with the right arm. And then my left leg is going to come back and reach towards that back wall. Okay, so holding that, think about this counter stretch here, almost like pulling your body apart reaching along and away and then switch legs and arms so now it's left arm right leg reaching long and other side we'll do two more per side reaching long and away and switch and switch And switch, last one. Breathe. Wonderful, okay. We're gonna do a little child's pose stuff here. I'm gonna grab a sip of my ketones. True passion this morning for me. All right, so you're gonna take your toes together and your knees wide. You're gonna push your hips back to your heels so your butt should be touching your heels and then once it's there you're going to reach forward and bring your stomach down to the ground if you can okay so just breathing here try to relax try to push your chest towards the ground so what i'm trying to do here guys is i'm trying to get a bit of almost like a counter stretch so my butt is pushing back but my arms are reaching long breathe good walk your hands to the right side and reach away with that left top arm push your hips back as you reach away so you should feel a really good stretch through the side of your body here And let's walk the hands to the other side. Same thing, I'm reaching away with that right arm and I'm pushing my hips down. Wonderful, all right. Let's come out of that. And um, we're gonna do a bit of a groin stretch here. So you're gonna take your knees and they're gonna go as wide as you can make them go. It might be here, it might be even lower and my foot and my shins are perpendicular now, so my heels are not touching, okay? And I'm just gonna come down as low as I can. It might just be here. You might be inflexible enough that you can come all the way down to the ground. We're just gonna hang out here. This is called frog stretch, stretching out the groin. So I'm gonna stay here and count to 30. <sighs> Trying to relax my inner thighs. It should not hurt. Stretching should not hurt, guys. If it hurts, back off, because you can really pull a muscle. All right, breathe. 
I'm realizing here I need to vacuum my carpet. Look how uh, I'm looking at the floor. It's getting kind of dusty. The things you see when you're on your floor. Keep breathing. Breathe, try to relax the head. Awesome. Now, come out of that really slow. I'm just gonna end up on my stomach here because we're gonna do a couple things for um, our chest while we're here, stretching out the front of our body. So you're on your stomach. You're gonna take your right arm out to one side. Now, make sure your arm is not down by your side. It should be out pointing like you're kind of, you know, like in a T position if I was standing up. So put that right hand flat on the floor and you're gonna push that right shoulder into the ground and you're gonna come up onto your right side. This left leg is gonna come behind you and touch the ground behind you and you're gonna relax your head here. So we're actually getting a stretch through the hip again as well as the chest. So really push that shoulder into the ground Good stuff. And let's do the other side. So the left arm is now out to the side and the right leg is gonna come up and over. Try to relax your head. Good stuff. Come back to, don't kick your ketone bottle over, I almost did there, that would not be good. True passion, orange ketones on my white carpet. This time we're gonna bring our right arm up at about, um, what angle is that? It's not 90, it's sort of in the middle. Anyway, just kind of like you're almost like in a V position above your head. So press that hand down again, same thing. This you should feel more in your shoulder. If it hurts, don't do it. Find the position where you just feel a nice stretch. And then we'll come back to the other side. So hands almost like not above your head, just off to one side. Same thing, bringing that other leg over. Awesome. Okay, come back to center and we'll do another push up into this cobra position. This time look up, take some deep breaths. And then come up onto all fours. Just hold this neutral spine for a moment. And let's stretch out our wrists and hands while we're here. So you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna point your fingers towards your knees and you're going to try to keep the heel of your hand down on the ground and just gently lean back. So we're stretching out the forearms, taking advantage of being in this tabletop position. You can see me, I'm just gently rocking back and forth here. Good. Take your hands now and point them away from you side to side and you can just shift your weight side to side. I find I get more of a stretch if my hands are closer. So go where you wanna go. Good. And then you're gonna take the backs of your hands and you're gonna put them down on the ground. This one always, everybody's like always complaining. Try to straighten your arms out and just lean back. Good stuff. Grab a hold of your hands, loosen out your wrists, shake them out, and let's come to a seated position on our butt. All right, so we're gonna do a series of things here um, sitting now. And um, we're gonna finish today on our butt and uh, we're gonna do some breathing exercises together at the end of this, so stay with me if you wanna do that. So let's bring the soles of our feet together. It doesn't matter how close your feet are to your body, wherever is comfortable, and just kind of shake your legs out here. Good. 
And then you're going to take your elbows and you're going to try to bring them onto your knees and push down. And here you can drop your head if you can and just relax. And breathe always in through the nose, out through the mouth. <coughs> I don't think my ketones are mixed properly. I think I just breathed in a whole bunch of powder. Oh. Stuff. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna take advantage of being in this position again and stretch our traps out in a different way. So you're gonna grab a hold of your ankles with your hands. And you'll notice when you do this that there's already like, I already feel like a pull on my shoulders and that's that's kind of what we want. So you're gonna pull back with your body. So I'm kind of like leaning back away as I'm grabbing on nice and tight. Try to sit up nice and tall here. And then you can tilt your head to one side. And then the other side. Good. And you're going to rotate your head now one direction and the other direction. I don't know about you guys, but I feel this so much in my traps. It feels so good. Awesome. Okay, so keeping in that seated position, let's take our legs as wide as you can go. Okay, I'm flexible in this position, so my legs go pretty wide. So I'm just going to hang out here and you want to come up onto your sit bones. So you should not be slouchy in this position. Okay. You should be up sitting up nice and tall. Think about pushing that pelvis forward. And then from this position here, we're going to reach forward. So again, you don't want to just start collapsing in your upper body. It's about thinking about bringing your stomach down towards the ground and go as low as you can. That might be here for some of you just to feel that stretch in the inner thighs, but go where you need to go. We're going to spend 30 seconds here. Make sure your toes are pointing up to the ceiling and they haven't collapsed in. Okay. So I'm counting to 30 starting now. Breathe. Don't be afraid to move around. Good stuff, a few more breaths. And let's slowly come up out of that. Good stuff. All right, so we're gonna to go to one side now. We're gonna put that um, left arm on either the top or the inside, depending on your flexibility, of your left thigh. You're gonna reach up with your right arm and you're gonna reach over. My goal is to grab my left toe here. If you can't grab it, just go as far as you can. If you're um, in that position where you're kind of like leaning over, try to bring your chest towards the ceiling. You'll see how it changes the, the stretch. So really open your chest up to the ceiling here. Try to breathe. Good, and now instead of in that bent over position or twisted position, you're going to bring your stomach closer to your thigh. So it's slightly different here, more just stretching out the hamstring on this side. Okay, if you can grab that ankle, if you're up here, that's fine. Just go where you need to go. Coming up out of that, and let's go to the other side. So that right arm is gonna come down on the inside. You're gonna reach up with that left arm, Try to twist the body so that the chest is pointing up to the ceiling. If you can grab that toe, grab that toe. Try to open up that chest to the ceiling a little more. And just breathe.
good. Coming up out of that, and then we're gonna bring that stomach to the right leg now, reaching forward, go as far as you can go without it hurting. Awesome, okay, we've stretched out our hamstrings there quite a lot. Let's take those legs out in front of you, shake them out. We're gonna do some quad stretching. Um, I should have done these when we were on our stomach earlier, but we'll, we'll actually do them on our side. So coming onto your right side, you can put your head on your um, hand here for support. Let's grab a hold of that right ankle, okay? So you're gonna to try to get your knee down towards your other knee. Don't let it flare up here. And when it's down there, you're gonna think about pushing that foot into the left hand. And then I want you guys to think about pushing your hips forward actively by squeezing the glutes. So there's a lot of things happening here. I'm pushing my foot into my hand, my hips are pushing forward, and my knee is pushing down towards my other knee. If that hurts, you can back off and just readjust. Getting into our quads here. And we're warming up our quads a little bit because we're gonna do the couch stretch. If you don't have a couch, um, that's okay. You can use a chair and I'll show you another way. All right, we're gonna come over onto the right side. This is my bad side. I'm gonna actually do this one on my stomach because this bothers my knee. So here, Actually, I'm not gonna do this side at all. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm doing it. So my knee on the right side is really flared up from too much walking. I think I can do it on this side. Here we go. Okay, so again, you're trying to push that knee down to the ground. You're grabbing a hold of the ankle and you're pushing your knee into, or you're pushing your foot into your hand, pushing that knee forward, squeezing the glutes. Ten, three, two, one. All right. So we're kind of warmed up now for our couch stretch. So I'm just going to come back over here where my sofa is. Ideally, guys, you want to have a cushion and you want to put it up against your sofa. And what you're going to do, um, be careful getting into this position. You're going to take your left leg out in front to start. You're going to take your right foot and you're going to hook it onto your sofa and bring your knee down to your cushion. Um, ideally, you want that knee right up against the sofa, okay? For me, with my bad knee here, I'm just going where I can go. And here in this position, what I'm doing is I'm pushing my hips forward so that I'm getting a nice stretch through the front of that quad. And let's try to hold this for 30 seconds. I'm shaking in this position. Whew. If you do not have a chair or a sofa, you can get into a runner's lunge and you can grab onto that foot with the opposite hand. It's a little awkward, but it's doable. Or if you have a favorite quad stretch, you can get into that. Another five, four, three, two, one. Gently coming out of that and switching legs. Again, I'm trying to bring my knee right up against. This is a, a little bit better for me on my left side, my good side here. So you can see I'm coming up nice and tall, pushing back, getting that deep stretch through the quad. Breathe. Guys, if you're on the sofa for a long time, like sitting, watching TV or something, Get up and do this every once in a while. It's great for your hips and your quads just to stretch them out. Um, constantly being seated in what we call a closed hip position is so bad for our hips and our back. Um, you've probably heard sitting is the new smoking, right? So if you do sit a lot, try to get up once in a while and do some kind of stretching for your hips. All right. 
Let's come onto our butt again. And um, let's bring the legs straight out in front of us, shake them out. And this time we're just gonna do a little bit of a hamstring um, forward fold. So reaching up, nice and tall, pushing the chest down but not slouching. And reach for those toes if you can get them. If you can't get them, grab your ankles and just pull your head down if you can and just breathe. Awesome. Let's do some twisting here. So we're going to take that right leg, bring it over the left. So you can either fold this leg under you. I like to leave it straight. Take that left arm, bring it over the right leg, and you're going to twist here. Looking back over that right shoulder. Good, coming out of that. So right leg goes straight, left leg is over the right, right arm goes over that left bent leg, twisting. Good stuff. All right, legs are both straight out in front. We're going to bend our knees, take your hips or your feet apart, and you're going to let your left knee drop down, okay? Here, I'm going to take my right leg, and I'm going to put it on top of that knee, and I'm going to lean back. Guys, this is an IT band stretch. You should feel this down the side of your leg. So I'm pushing with my, if this hurts your knee, don't do it. If you're pushing with my right foot onto that quad, and I'm leaning away, just getting a nice stretch through my IT band and my hip here on the left side. It feels really good. Hopefully you guys feel that. Good, come out of that. And then knees are wide, feet are wide. You're gonna drop your right knee to the ground. Take your left foot over that right knee and lean away. So I'm pushing down with that foot on top. stuff coming out of that we can just take our knees side to side here and we're going to finish off with a couple more things on the ground and then uh, we will be done so leaning laying down on your back just find a comfortable position here let's lift our right leg up just straight and then grab behind the right leg with your uh your hands and you're just going to pull in now if you don't get a stretch here you can go up behind your calf and pull in. Okay, never pull behind your knee. Good, you're gonna take that right leg and you're gonna let it fold over your body so it's perpendicular to you on the left side and you're gonna look at that right arm. So you're twisting here Good, and we'll come out of that. Keep that leg up, and you're just gonna make three big circles with that straight leg or bent leg, it doesn't matter. Three circles in one direction, and three circles in the other direction. All those creaks. <laughs> Good stuff. So now our left leg is gonna come up, gonna grab behind either behind your thigh or your calf and pull in. And then you're going to let that left leg fall to the right side for a twist. Look at your left hand. Good. Coming back to center, let's make three big circles with that right or left leg. And other side, other way. Awesome. 
All right, legs are going straight out in front of you, hands are by your side, close your eyes, and we're gonna just practice some breathing here, guys. So um, just try to follow along with my voice, okay? So put your right hand over your belly button and put your left hand just above your heart or your chest. And what I want you to try to do here is breathe into your belly first. So you're gonna breathe into your nose and you're gonna to try to make the right hand rise. So, like you're inflating a big balloon in your belly. And then you're gonna to try to breathe into your chest. You're gonna let out through your mouth, all the way out, even the belly. So the goal is to breathe into your belly first, or diaphragm, and then your chest. So if you find that when you're breathing, it's just your chest rising. Really focus on not letting the chest rise and focus instead on the belly. So we'll do five deep breaths like this into the belly, then the chest. And release. In through the belly. And release. Nice and slow, in through the belly. Let's count to eight this time. And release for eight. In for eight. Out for eight. One more, in through the belly for eight. Oh, fill it all the way up and let go. Awesome. Roll onto one side and just come up slowly. Let's have a chat. How are you guys doing? Give me a thumbs up if you're doing okay. Just sit up nice and tall. Just come up slow. After that deep breathing, it can be a little overwhelming. You can just sit cross-legged here. And um, guys, now if you have a meditation practice, this would be a good time to just kind of let yourself zen out and just breathe and just give gratitude for the stretching that you just did, the goodness that you just did for your body, for your mind, for calming down, for letting life slow down for yourself for however long we were here. I don't know, I lose track of time. And just really, you know, thank yourself for giving yourself this time. It's so important, um, especially these days, that you allow yourself to calm down every once in a while, that you give yourself the permission to do this and to take care of yourself. So give yourself a big pat on the back. Maybe give yourself a hug, especially if you're alone. Um, I wish I could just hug all of you guys. I miss hugging people, I'm a hugger. But um, guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. If you just tuned in, if you just watched this, are starting now, like go back to the beginning once this is posted and do the stretching. Anyone can do it. Do it to your level. And um, we will see you, those of you guys that are working out with me, we'll see you tomorrow morning, 9.30, every Monday to Friday, working out um, quarantine work workouts. And um, Sundays are stretching. So thank you again for being here with me. I appreciate all of you. And uh, don't forget, spend some time in gratitude here before we, uh, before you come out of this and um, go for a nice, long, slow walk today. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care. Bye.